Well, we're remembering Celia. I don't remember how we first met, except that I fell in love with her photography at the Blue Sage. And I saw these remarkable images of people that we wouldn't normally notice. And Celia had this ability to capture the heart and the spirit and the goodness inside people. And they're the kind of people that you would cross, you know, meet on the street and you'd never notice. But Celia had an eye for that. So I fell in love with Celia's photography before I ever met Celia. So I was thrilled to meet her. And I was a little surprised that this little tiny woman could have the heart of a lion. And she was quite a force of nature. In fact, one of my favorite, one of my favorite instances was when you and I were shopping after an event at the Paradise Theater, and you had a difference of opinion with her about the volume level of the music at the Paradise. And she was just vehemently disagreeing with you. And every time we'd cross her in another aisle, you would make your point, she would make her point, and you would fight. And then by the time we got our grocery shopping done, you guys gave each other a big hug. <laughs> and vowed to stay friends, even though you disagreed about the volume levels. <laughs> and that was Celia. Uh, I, can I talk about this photograph? This, is the, this was the photograph that really did it for me. Um, because I didn't even notice at first. I just saw these images of these strong women. And it looks like they're just having a little gathering, like a picnic maybe in the park. But when you look more closely, you see that they all have ankle monitors on. And Celia explained that they had done nothing wrong. They were being monitored because their husbands were undocumented workers. And that was the way the government was able to keep track of the undocumented workers, was to put monitors on their wives. And the injustice of that just really hit home. Now, how many people really care? Celia did. And she captured that, and she spoke to people with her photography. And we're going to miss her ever so much. <laughs>